Hey Diego, your essay has such great material and so much potential, but it's not passing for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is the structure. So I've left a lot of comments. Um, sorry, no. The thesis is great, and um, but the body paragraphs, you need to begin each body paragraph with a sentence that answers the research question. And the research question is, how does practicing forgiveness increase happiness? How, the how question. So each paragraph should answer that how question. Um, what I noticed, I'm just gonna take you right to the bottom because not, not one of your body paragraphs has a topic sentence. And then I got to the conclusion and strangely I found all the topic sentences Look at these all answer the how question. When you practice forgiveness, your body and mind become more healthy rather than being under stress and trauma, which is unhealthy. Answers the how question. That's for the, for the first body paragraph. This one here. It creates opportunities. Forgiveness creates opportunities for your mind to become clear of emotions that are affecting your daily, your life day. In, oh, that's a little confusing. Your daily life. That's, that could be a topic sentence for number two and et cetera. So somehow all your topic sentences ended up at the end and actually your conclusion shouldn't even summarize. So, so this isn't even a good conclusion, but it has all your topic sentences. Um, so what I'm suggesting is you move your topic sentences up to the places they belong and write a new conclusion. You can go back to, um, this is weak. Let's see. Weak. There, there are several pages with the same information about writing conclusions, but week seven has this page, this information on writing conclusions that says, you know, don't, you shouldn't be summarizing. And throughout the conclusion, you can summarize or paraphrase your, your thesis. You can start out a conclusion with um, a paraphrase of your thesis, what we call the summary statement, but after that, it should not be more summary. Um, one more pattern I notice is, well, I notice a few patterns and you're going to have to read my, my comments carefully, but I, I can't figure out in your introduction where your quote, where your direct quotations are because you don't introduce them. So if you say Z Z Zahorkova, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So Horkova, you know, clinical psychologist writes that comma, open quotation mark. Then I'm super clear about where your direct quotation is. But because you put your, your quotation marks, I think aren't pointing the right directions. And I'm not really sure what's going on here, but throughout your essay, there's some problems with the way that you introduce direct quotations. Um, another pattern is run togethers. And another pattern is extra punctuation. So I've marked everything and um, I would love for you to work on this some more.